my name is Brett Godin with United Refrigeration, and today we're going to continue our topic on liquid line solenoid valves. Our original video, we talked about the form and function of the valve and its purpose on the system. Today, we're going to talk about troubleshooting that valve. It is a very simple valve which opens and closes, so the basic problems it can have are when it will not open or close. One thing we talked about in our original video was the importance of sizing the valve on capacity versus line size. So if we look at a, a valve is not opening or closing properly, the first thing we're going to consider is the capacity it was sized for and sizing that valve properly. If the valve is not closing, one immediate thing we want to look for is if the valve is oversized. If there is not enough pressure drop through the valve, it will not open and close properly. So when the valve is oversized, the pressure drop is minimized and becomes too low in order to shift it into a closed position when opened. Other factors that play into this are contamination that can stick the valve in an open position even when it's attempting to close, or a deformed body and stem which prevents the plunger moving up and down in the valve properly for function. A third thing that we should consider is the solenoid coil that is receiving electrical current. In a normally closed valve, which means when there is no current to the solenoid coil, the valve should be closed. If, it is not, if it, there is residual current in that coil, it may prevent the valve from completely closing. Now considering if the valve will not open, contamination is still a factor as it can stick the valve in an open or closed position just as easily. Another factor to consider on opening is this valve is sealing the high and low side pressures of the system in an off cycle. So when we call for opening the valve, we receive electrical current to the solenoid coil to open that valve, but there is a factor called MOPD, which is on the label of the box of the valve itself. If we ever exceed, MOPD stands for maximum operating pressure differential. And if we ever exceed that pressure differential in an off cycle, that is something that it can't overcome and will prevent the valve from opening. Lastly, as we discussed, the coil, if there is a burned out coil or it is not receiving electrical current properly, it will not open as well. And lastly, if there's ever any intermittent current to that coil, that will result in chattering, where the valve is opening and closing repeatedly when it should either be opened or closed. If this video has prompted any further questions, please go to URI.com or contact your local United Refrigeration representative.